Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM. I am CA Anuj Jalota. We are here trying to solve every possible problem that is there in SCPM. Through our this way of doing, there have been so many students who have cleared till now. You all can see below each and every video, there will be a lot of comments whereby the students have passed. They all have got 84, they all have got 90, etc, etc, etc. But then our only intention is not to make you all pass. Our one intention is that you all clear your SCPM. That is one intention. Second is that you learn the intricacies of the business. That is so important at this stage because that is the only thing that is going to be changing in this world. Apart from that small intentions that will help you to clear your paper number six also because one of the components of paper six is this subject. If you're going to be doing future courses like ACCA, like MBA, whatever you learn over here, it'll be coming over there also. And a lot of you all in future are going to be having your own business, own startups. At that time, you will require something called as accelerators. Okay, now what are all these things? That is whatever our today's video is on. Let's start it off. Uh, just before I start two things, you want to be enrolling for my complete course, please see the link in the description below and join my telegram channel and the group for good updates on the subject. Let's start it off for today. Which of the following statements are correct? Incubators are different from accelerators. Okay, accelerators offer structured collaborative program whereby incubators rely upon short term programs. Okay, now if I have to say which one of them is correct, okay, which one of them is wrong, first thing that you should be knowing is that what do you mean by incubators, what do you mean by accelerators in reference to business, you should be knowing that, okay. Now, not interested in the options at this stage here, please remove it, please. Acha, now, <coughs> incubators, if you are in a business, you might have heard of this term, if you're a startup, you have definitely heard of this. Incubators are what? These are also called as startup hubs, okay, whereby the institutions, these are the institutions that support the entrepreneurs in developing their business, especially in the initial stage. You can call them as, you can call them as business schools, you can call them as schools for startups, okay, you go over there, okay, they might not take much amount of rent from you. They will provide you mentorship, okay, mentorship means they will tell you how to be doing because you're a startup, you might not know exact way of doing everything, but these guys, it is their profession to support such things, okay, so therefore they help you in development of a certain business, okay. It is a place that provides ideal conditions for the founders to quickly grow their young business through a structured collaborative program. They give discounts on the equipments and the software, okay, they might have say a common kind of a coffee shop, so therefore you all can go and eat and also over there, they might have a common Wi-Fi also, okay. It's not like WeWork please, okay, somebody might be thinking, sir, all these features are there in WeWork or like, you know, no, it's not like that. These are like, you know, places where many startups are there, okay. And there are five to six people who are expert in business, okay, they provide guidance to all these people how to be doing. In lieu, they can be taking money, they can be taking, uh, say, uh, equity up and so on. Okay. Now, now, if it will be a good kind of an incubator, okay, good kind, like, you know, they teach you basically how to be doing business. They teach you, like, you know, how to be making contacts. Okay. So, if it will be a good uh, incubator, there's something called as mega collaboration or something. I forgot the name. Okay. So those guys like are, if you'll type on Google, I hope you'll uh, search it. Uh, <coughs> business incubators, one of the disadvantages, if it'll be a big one, no, that they will be extremely selective in whom they want to be guiding because ultimately see, these guys will also get a benefit when the startups, okay, become normal companies. Okay. Apart from that, usually they will require long term commitments. They will require like, you know, that three to four years you remain with us because that is the time like, you know, that these guys require to make a business from a startup to establish business. Okay. 
and you might lose some of your control okay that's why i told it could be through equity it could be in the decision making up and so on okay these are business incubators now these due to the emerging businesses these have become quite common now okay but then you all have something called as accelerators also now accelerator is a program that is help that will help establish startups establish startups okay to scale up quickly so therefore like you know the first one is like a school okay you have already graduated from the school now in this case you want to be growing there you have a mvp with you what do you mean by mvp minimum viable product you know that this is going to be a successful thing you have already started you have already tested okay now it's a time to accelerate your business like you know if you all remember product life cycle there is introduction stage now it is growth stage okay so therefore these guys they help you to scale up your business in a big way they might give you good amount of the funding also okay and uh, in lieu of that they will be uh, taking the equity best example you all see on the screen also shark tag india is kind of a accelerator program everybody who comes over there is already a startup okay everybody who comes over there, first thing the shark tank guys okay will be asking them the sharks whatever you'll call them those guys will be asking what is your turnover what is this it is not that these guys are starting they've already started okay but uh, these guys will try to accelerate their business as such okay and few of them have become so big like you know one of them i try to uh, remember i don't exactly know but if you're in mumbai you might have heard of there are cycles that are kept outside the metro stations okay the new metro stations that have come now uh and that guy had come in shark india also so therefore if suppose i'm going to work okay so therefore what i can be doing i go in the train okay once i get down the station my workplace might be slightly far away from the station so therefore what option i have i pick up the cycle okay i go there i park it in my office say for the entire day while coming back i get it back to the station okay and they will charge me for that particular thing now this guy also took funding from there only so a few words that I've written for you all, a business accelerator is a program designed to help establish startups, scale quickly and provide often and often provide business funding in exchange for equity. They accelerate a growth by removing the risk and the uncertainty involved through a short term program, usually for the uh, startups that already have a MVP, minimum viable product. Minimum viable product is a bare minimum thing, okay, that has worked till now, okay. So therefore, these startups, they are not looking for the ideas, okay, no, okay. They already have a MVP, now they want somebody to be growing that business, okay. So therefore, they usually go to the accelerators, okay, they ask for funding also, and these accelerators use their contacts also also to make the companies bigger okay i'll give you one idea like you know that might be of use to you i'll not say the names because it looks like you know we are trying to be promoting or something you all invest in mutual fund many of you might, might be doing that okay less risky you want to be getting more invest in equity directly perfect okay now there is a new fund also to invest in startups okay there are funds that are there uh, in SEBI, there is a rule that these funds have to be having a minimum amount of 2000 crores and maximum there can be 1000 people in that fund. So therefore, on an average, everybody has to be contributing 2 crore rupees. Okay. Uh, on an average, somebody might contribute less, somebody might contribute more. Okay. And what these companies do who take such amount of fund, okay, they invest in startups, they help them to grow. Okay. They help them to grow, give them the pro uh, proper channels to be growing, give them the marketing assistance up and so on. Okay. And ultimately, try to take these companies for listing okay once they will list automatically like you know their valuations will be super high at that time our money will start to come back through the exits okay it's a beautiful fund risks are very high because the startups might fail also okay but then these are great examples of business accelerators last year i had invested so therefore i'm aware of this entire scheme that is there but these are good ones okay even if you will ask me on telegram i will not advise because that is not my business that is my personal thing okay but these are great ways to be increasing the money and you know one fact in india is that India requires lot amount of IPOs to be coming to translate into a 25 trillion dollar economy. Okay. 
like 2047 they have some vision oh we'll reach by we'll reach till 30 trillion or something for that lot amount of ipos are required so therefore small companies have to become big basically okay to enter into that stage there's lot amount of demand of new equity because else if the same companies are there in india who are listed ultimately one guy is selling one guy is buying right okay so therefore new equity is not coming no in the market okay so automatically prices will rise because there are shortage of shares as such okay so these are new programs that are basically designed to get more funding okay so there are a lot of examples of accelerators that you all can search in case you have a startup you have a mvp try out all these kind of accelerators try out these things it'll be good okay so you have tech stars you have angel pad there are a lot of things okay so just i thought i'll mention that to you all okay so which of the following statements are correct incubators are different from accelerators i've already told yes they are accelerators offer structured collaborative program whereas incubators replies nahi relies on short term program okay i think second one is false i've already explained what are all these things okay so second one is false the first one is all correct they both are different things yaar as such okay so therefore second one should be false that is a correct answer it's all done from my side for uh, today's video i try through the knowledge that i have to like you know instill some curiosity in you in case you like my content okay i would generally urge you all to spread it to the right group of people uh to whom this knowledge will be a necessity especially all those students of ca final who still have to be giving scpm by the way this is the qr code of a playlist uh that has every video that i've recorded so far even if a student is going to be doing this much believe me you know you will get the worldy knowledge plus obviously it'll help you to pass your self paced paper i'll see you all next time with another video till then take care of yourself have great health bye